Passive investing in commercial real estate is one of my favorite ways of building wealth. And today I'm going to look at a site, Realty Mogul, that helps connect investors with commercial real estate deals. Hey, I'm Rebecca. Thanks for joining me on the Mama Lorian Way, where I am a mom who is learning how to build wealth for her family, and I'm just sharing my knowledge as I go along my journey. If you like what we're doing, subscribe, comment, thumbs up. Every bit helps this channel. Also, little disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, so this is just for information, <laughs> just for information. All right, so let me say, so passive investing for me is one of the best ways I have found to maximize my time and maximize my wealth. And passive investing is really just when you put your money into an investment and you get more money back and that's about all you do. You don't have to bang hammers and fix and flip a house. You don't have to, you know, buy low, sell high. <laughs> you kind of do. There's a site, Realty Mogul, that I want to introduce you guys to. I haven't invested with them, although I have been looking at their investment and their investment qualities over the past six months, and I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. So let me share my screen. Okay, so here we are, realtymogul.com. And I like how they say it, explore opportunities beyond stocks and bonds. Diversify with thoroughly vetted commercial real estate with the potential to generate income and grow in value. You have access to private market offerings. More than 20, 128,000 investors have joined. Invest in private placement and real estate investment trust. Over 600 million invested on the platform. And you get exposure to more deals, $3.5 billion in deals posted on this platform. So they've been around, they exist, they have deals, and let's learn a little bit more. And what they are is a platform that connects investors who want to invest money with commercial real estate developers that are looking to build equity capital to be able to buy and or rehab a an investment and then pass the investment proceeds and profits on to their investors. So first of all, I know people might be wondering, are there fees involved? And one, there are fees for investors. Joining Realty Mogul and the marketplace is free, but when you invest, there is a small percentage that Realty Mogul will take out of. It seems to me it's like out of the profits that you may be getting, or the cash returns that you may be getting. So it's a small, maybe 1% fee just so that they can keep this platform going. So how it works is Realty Mogul is made up of a team vets properties and vets the developers, I'm gonna call them developers, vets the projects. And if the projects are up to their standards, they will put them on this platform for basically raising funds through investors all over. And I don't wanna say you have to, don't have to do the due diligence like you, you would anyway. You have to do the due diligence, but they've already vetted these properties. So they're already looking a little bit better than if it was just Joe Schmo off the street. All right, so what are properties or investments that you could do on Realty Mogul? And first of all, they have, and this is, I'm gonna say what they have and then I'm gonna give a little disclaimer too. They have Bel Air Apartments in Marietta, Georgia, Los Angeles, maybe a new build, Class A, probably is a new build, somewhere in Crevecourt, Missouri, Fort Worth, Texas, Nashville, Tennessee, Vancouver, Washington, and these are all multifamily. And multifamily over five units is considered a commercial property property. Chicago, San Antonio, really all over the United States. I don't think they have anything out of the United States and I think you may have to be a U.S. citizen or resident to invest just for tax purposes and for the Homeland Security Act. Other thing that they offer is two REITs. It's a real estate investment trust number one, real estate investment trust number two, and the differences between one and two, depending if you are looking at getting cash back, more income, or if you're looking to build wealth. And if you are not an accredited investor, you are only able to invest in these real estate investment trusts, one 
or two. And I'll talk a little bit more about invest, uh, accredited investors. So the real estate investment trust actually combines a lot of real estate deals and properties, investments into a trust, but it's, it's like a mutual fund in a way. So you're not investing in a single property, mitigates the risk, your rewards, your payback, not as great. This one is saying 6% annualized rate. This one 4.5, but on the flip side, at the end, you may get some of the appreciation and build wealth. So more money coming to you on a monthly or quarterly basis, less money coming to you on a monthly or quarterly basis, but some upside at the end. Now, the thing with the REITs, which is good, I mean, $5,000 minimum investment here, and the REITs are both available to you if you are not accredited. So what is it? an accredited investor? It is somebody that has a net worth or a couple that has a net worth not including their family house of a million dollars or more and or they make as an individual changes all the time. I'm going to say it's like 200 or 250,000 a year over the past two years. So it's a continual income, not just a one off and a couple 300,000 a year over the past two years. If you are accredited, you may be interested and you are able to invest in these, what they're called private offerings. So investing as a passive investor in the Marietta, Georgia, Bel Air apartments, and they all have minimums. This one is a $25,000 minimum. This one, 35,000, 35,000. A lot of them are 35,000. Some even go up to 50,000 minimum investments. And I want to look at how it works. If you're interested and or you're accredited or if you're unaccredited and you want to go into the REIT, four simple steps. Create your account. I have created my account. Ask for who you are. They will ask some personal information, some tax information, because it is a platform where you may be making an investment and getting returns on it. So we need to know that you're going to be paying taxes on it probably. <laughs> <laughs> and that you're a U.S. citizen because there's a lot of laws about how you can invest in U.S. real estate as a non-U.S. citizen after 9-11 happened. Then you select your investment. And the big thing is look through all the investments and the do your own due diligence. When you're ready to invest, you put your amount, how you want to receive your distributions, like in your bank account, and then you can track your investments on what's called my dashboard. Now I wanted to, there was one deal on this that I really, really liked. It's closed now. I wanted to invest out of my self-directed IRA and that was not possible to invest in a self-directed IRA into a private offering which is the um, like the, the multifamilies that you see. And the due diligence is, and this is, I think, really important to understand that what Realty Mogul is doing, that these opportunities. So they look at the investment itself. Is the real estate company or the developer, do they have a good background? They're not scammers do they have experience and do they have success in their experience <laughs> and do they have references from past experiences so that the people that are behind the investment and that the market so if you are investing in somewhere i'm in texas texas is super hot right now so dallas fort worth san antonio austin houston all really big markets. People are moving into the markets. They're having babies. They're staying and living. Some markets are losing population and they're not stable. So that would not be a good place maybe to put a multifamily that you have to build and think five years down the line, is anybody going to want to live here? Also, the economic trends in the neighborhoods, in the cities, the employment rate, are there new businesses coming in? Like in Austin, Tesla is coming in. Apple is putting up a new campus. So we have continual influx. That's a good market. If you have a big exodus of companies, probably not so good. And then comparables. They look at, are other properties around? Are they occupied? What are their rents? What are they selling for? Just like when you buy a house, it's like, well, what did the house down the street sell for am I getting a good deal on my house in comparison to what that was the sales price of that one then the property is it really run down is it going to take a lot more money for example to rehab this property what are the tenants who are going to be living there are the rates in concordance with the population and the comparables and then a real team mogul team members travels to the property site visit I think this is super super important and then 
in the investment? Do they have all the <laughs> legal stuff together? Meaning the, does the real estate company have the operating agreement, the staff, the ability to manage the property asset management? Like when you rent an apartment, you have a management company that leases it up, that takes care of the property. Are all those things into place? I think my humble opinion is that they're doing a pretty good job of vetting the people, the property, the place, and the management. This is the real estate team. You can look at their bios in the back of their pictures. They have a huge knowledge center and resources and articles, frequently asked questions all over the place, general little questions, and invest in equity. These are what types of properties, mostly it's commercial, multifamily, office, industrial, self-storage, retail, medical offers. So you can go and get more and more information through this, even about taxes, and it's all passive, passive income. I, check it out. I'm not going to recommend any properties. I'm not even going to go into my account to look at what properties are going to be offering returns. I'm not going to look at what returns certain offerings are proposing. I could do that on another video. This is just a very general overview website, Realty Mogul, connecting investors who want to make their money passively work for them with real estate companies that are looking for equity. Hey, have a great one. If this was was helpful. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.